So, Natasha, what are some of the images that stick out for you? Well, Lindsay, over the course of the day, we've been going through some of the most powerful images of 2015. And what we noticed on the CBC.ca article is that there are certain themes that have come around when it comes to the picture. So there's three themes we're going to talk about now. One is the series of uh, terrorist attacks that have happened in Paris in the past year. This one relating to the Charlie Hebdo attacks that took place in January. This being the peace march that about 4 million people attended back in January of this year. The second attack, people would remember, happened on November 13th when a series of attacks took place in Paris as people were enjoying a Friday night at restaurants, at a stadium, at a concert hall. Over 100 people died. These were two very important events in France and really throughout the world. Now, another theme that popped up again and again in terms of photographs was politics in the United States. Of course, we can't talk about the presidential nominations and the, uh, the election that's going to take place next year without talking about Donald Trump, the single most... Uh, I guess, in a way, important candidate, the one who sort of defined the narrative of how the Republicans were going to move forward, which issues will be debated and discussed, this man at the center of that story. And another critical story, really, that's been carried over for a couple of years is the Black Lives Matter movement. It's not just a hashtag on Twitter. It is a sense of a, uh, an empowerment of a movement in the United States, specifically around the treatment of young black men and police officers. This, of course, an image from Baltimore when the protests and the uh, clashes were happening back in April. Got very violent, very scary for a lot of folks, but really sort of uh, encapsulates a sense of tension in the country. And of course, the overarching theme for many of the photographs was the issue of the migrants and refugees leaving war-torn Syria. This is an image from Hungary, got a lot of attention this year when a Hungarian camera woman tripped a Syrian refugee who was carrying a small child. Lots of people very angry with her. Very powerful image there. This is a newer image. This is a happier one of Syrian refugees who have been welcomed to Canada. We know, of course, Canada is going to accept 25,000 Syrian refugees by the end of February. This is through the new accelerated program that the Liberals have brought into place. And the final image I'm going to show you, quite arguably the most powerful image of the year. It's still very difficult for people to look at, so I just want to show it to you quickly. This is, of course, uh, the lifeless body of three-year-old Alan Kurdi, the young boy who, along with his family, were trying to leave war torn Syria, make their way to Europe, make their way perhaps to their family in Germany or perhaps to her, their aunt in Canada. He died. That photograph sparked an international conversation about what was happening in Syria and how to help the four million refugees that have left that country. Just some of the pictures in that article. You can find the link to it on my Twitter account. Let us know what you think of the images selected. Thanks, Natasha. You're welcome.